Welcome back to the race. This is week 110, and this will be the defense replays for the season. Uh, yeah. So this season we ran a cab line, uh, a full-on cab line for the first time. So uh, things we learn about cab lines, they are effective. I mean, we are kind of already knew this, but uh, they're all about the way you build them and who you front line well who you bring along what units the enemy has and um how effective they are at going at it so most people don't have a dedicated uh cav line team i don't know why is you should always try to at least have one dedicated cav line team um, Astro season is good because Altina is usually able to handle one of the threats on Catline teams. Here, unfortunately, this I just got overwhelmed and he didn't have Lucina to support him. But yeah, um, I will be bringing Cab Lab. Uh, been using this cab line any week that is Duma week, so I decided that this is going to be the Duma team. Uh, since we have rotating um, mythics, uh, I'll be having like dedicated pins for that mythic. So Duma works really well on cab line because having that seven damage on the first turn provides a lot of pressure, and that's kind of what you want. A lot of pressure on turn one so here they're able to leave him for last and just dance around him while getting all the ether um i thought about him giving him armor boots but i don't know we'll see for the next time that is the next time that is his turn to be up we'll see if we give him armor boots or not So, one way to handle Kavlan is just to bait as many things as you can. And if you can bait all four units to come down, it's usually the best because uh, usually there'll be a dancer or a tracer or something in the back line to be able to handle uh, stragglers or at least on a good cav line, that's what you want. Um, or another way to do is if you have one unit that can handle two or two, three or four the threats at the same time, putting them high on the line. So here, unfortunately, that fallen Julia was not able to take on a Guntra. And over here, that Fernand was not able to take on getting hit twice by Trasir. I mean, by uh, Veronica, not by Lynn. By Lynn. So here they brought uh, two units with cav effectiveness, Brave Lysitia and Brave Micaiah, and Levitin, which is a pretty strong uh, unit with her Blade Blade Tome. Yeah, once they're able to handle the initial um, outs, they're able to move higher up. So yeah, maybe I should give Duma boots because a lot of times when they're going up for the ether, they get close to him, but not so close that they're in range. But if we increase his range, then uh, he'll be better. Over here, there, this is the guy who just He's like, frog this, I'm gonna freaking just get some revenge kills before I leave. I always find revenge kills funny. I mean, I do it myself sometimes, but they're still funny. Like, So here's what I was talking about, about frontlining somebody. Ike, because of Null City's drop, he's able to take on 
both Lynn and Veronica. And then again, Duma just get left behind. Like, yeah, for here, Boots would have been effective to get him to get closer to uh, Regan. I would not be, I wouldn't get rid of Wings of Mercy since he provides instant pressure by having teleport down. And then the final match is a team that is not well suited for cap lines and having a full back line, which is what I was going to be. This is the main reason I brought a full cap line, just because I know people will create a full back line in which they don't really have any place to move. And gambling traps is always a bad idea. But they really didn't have much they could do. All they could do was just try to survive because they had no ladders. Probably because they have a full back line. Alright. So we ended up tier 28. Top 3000. Really good. A few more merges and I think I might be able to make it into top 1000 but when I say a few merges at least like get all of them to at least plus four or five and the defense was pretty good we managed to get top uh, defense so all in all cap line very effective this week especially with uh, the enemy having six units and for those who would like to put six things in the back makes it really difficult to hide units i did expect to see a lot more cav lines uh this week which i only fought one on day one so i'm not sure if people didn't realize that how effective cav lines would be this week or they just are you know like have their defense set up and they don't really want to change it no matter what but hey um, is their loss uh so yeah uh once again thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time bye